Welcome to another episode of the uh, Old Man's FPV Club. So we've got the walk here out. We still got quite a bit of breeze. I want to do some testing of the some of the other functions. This does have circle and hyper um, uh, OIC, OIC or something like that. So basically headless mode. So I want to do a little bit of test. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to arm this and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, take this up a little bit. And click it over into GPS mode. And I still haven't got used to that rising up. And what I want to do is I want to take it over here. I do have uh, the ground station set up to do video recording. I just want to double check everything over here in the ground station. Yep, I'm recording. Got a good signal. And so I'm going to click this thing into... I want to double check to make sure I'm clicking the right switch. Okay, so I'm going to click this one into hyper... Oh geez, see I don't pay attention to it for a second and it starts going up. That's, that's the only thing I don't like about it. There has to be a way to set altitude hold on this thing. Um, that's the only thing I wish. And I know a lot of you FPVers out there are going to say, Oh, heavens forbid, Joe, that's sacrilegious. I'm an old man. I want it easy. So just making sure everybody's everything's clear around me. So, okay, so I push it out. And I push it that way. I push it that way. I don't see where it's doing too much of... Uh, so it still seems to be going in its similar transactional or transaxial orientation. And uh, I am, let's, let's see, let's push this one. Let's see if we got the right switch. All right, so that, that seems to be, yep, because this is, taking it sideways back towards me and that's that that's good to know yes so if, if Joe flicks the right switch it actually does work and so this is rather interesting and so I can yaw this around so I'm now facing me so I'm pushing forward stick and it's going backwards and then I'm now back sticking it hopefully you can see and it's going forwards so it's in this hyper IOC mode. It's going back, and then if I press the sideways stick, it goes sideways. And it goes sideways this way. So one of the things, uh, the headless mode tutorial I've, I did quite a while ago, it's been one of my popular ones. And one of the things for those interested in headless mode, what happens, the way I, th I think about it is I've got a string attached between me and the quadcopter. And it's only going to move in its orientation and reference to me rather than itself as in transaxial mode. And so this is one of the things to kind of keep in mind when you're doing this. Now, a lot of people say, why wouldn't you want to do that? In line of sight, you're, you could be somewhat right. But the thing is, if you want to be able to go around things in that, you have to be in a transaxial transaxial mode where it's in reference to the copter and especially flying true FPV because in flying line of sight here as I am here on the ground you know I, I'm flying it from my perspective but if I were to put goggles on again I would be taking the perspective of the copter rather than myself so but but it is kind of nice you know to, to be because uh, see let me move this straight out from myself so, so the, the piece is, if I, if I take it out, and I just kind of take it out, and then let's take it over this way. I want to give it a little bit more altitude. Now, if I pull it, if I pull it back towards me, I, you know, I'm, I'm going to come back towards me. So, this is what makes, makes headless mode so nice for recovery is again you just pull the stick back and you're going to come back in some reference to yourself you know position yeah now if it's over there it's
stick straight back, I ended up on this side of me. You know, so what you have to watch is if you don't know where you're at in the horizon, then, you know, you're going to have a problem because it might end up way back there. But at least, you know, it's going to come back in the direction towards you, you know, when you pull this stick this way. And again, when you push the stick out, you know, it's going to go that way. I want to bring it back across from me now. And I want to push it out in this field a little bit. Now, one of the other things this has is circle mode. So I'm going to click this in circle mode. Well, actually, I want to change it back. I want to yaw this back around. I want to yaw this back around. Okay, so now I want to bring this down a little tiny bit. I just want to make sure this thing doesn't get away from me. It's a lot quicker than I am. So now I'm going to put it in circle mode. And supposedly, so there we go. So now I've got it in circle mode. So I'm just using the yaw to, to work the circle mode. And you see how it's, it's, it's kind of slow? And if I want to reverse the circle mode, I simply reverse the stick. And I want to bring it down a little bit. Now, I'm just practicing a little bit with this, you know, because this is one of Mr. Steele's famous moves, and I sort of like this, this idea. And this is actually one of the reasons for the purchase of this quadcopter, is its ability to do circle mode. Now, I want to take it up a little bit. So, so the computer is actually helping me because what's happened is once I, once I had it pointed towards something, then all I simply did is, is put it into circle mode and it does a circle. And, and it's not doing it too fast. So circle mode works. I have to figure out how to speed it up because that's a little bit slow circle mode. And I don't know if I switch it back into attitude. Nope. It only works circle mode in GPS. Or at least that's what it seems. So now that's spinning around now that I'm back into. Now I'm going to take it back out of circle mode. So that works. I'm going to have to play with that a little bit more. So, so I figured out headless mode a little bit here this trip. I figured out circle mode a little bit. I still have a lot more practicing to do. But I really like the idea. So I want to I just want to see something here. Well, actually I don't want to do circle mode around myself because there's trees behind me, so I don't want it to do a big circle around me. Uh, so I just forget about that for this time being. And so just uh, I think I might be getting a little bit shy on time so I want to see let's go ahead and do a return to home so I've clicked return to home and let's see how good it is and we, with dual GPS glasnos and GPS I would expect it to be fairly good now it's sort of missing it So you can see that's where it wanted to land. That's where we took off. Now one of the things I want to see, I've got 16 satellites, so that should be more than enough satellites to, uh, so I want to see if I can do a little bit better job landing it this time. Ah, wouldn't you know what the wind is picked up. Ah, much better. Once you know it, the wind picked up gust. You know, also I got to remember the kills over here. I keep thinking like some of the other copters I have kills over here. So one of the things I have to do really is um, is label some of the switches on this because I've got so many remote controls. So remember, to leave your remote control on while you just dis disarmed it. So I've got the uh, motors locked before I went and did that, but I left the controller on. Good tip from Quadcopter 101. So again, uh, real happy with this guy. So.
lot of practice to do before I fly this over the lake. Um, if any of you guys know, and maybe by the time these videos come out, because usually I queue them up, I'll have figured it out. But is there a way I can lock in altitude hold in this so I don't have to keep messing with the throttle? Because um, I just want it to hold an altitude. I don't know, maybe... Uh, this does. This is the newer version with the proprietary controller, the Wakira controller. So it, I don't think it's using the APM like some of the older ones. So I don't know if I can plug this into Clean Flight or Beta Flight or something and uh, modify the code or add an extra function switch on this. Hopefully I can. Uh, but if you've done it, let me know in the comments below. And hey, tell you what, let me know what you're thinking about for lunch today. Subscribe button over there. Hit me up in the comments below. And hopefully I didn't have too much wind noise. Cheers.